Good morning, Rastus. How are you going? Would you like to come over and be fed? Come on, boss. Come on. Oh, you want to be thrown? You want to be thrown there? You sure? Come on. Hey? You don't want to go any closer than the windmill. Oh, yes, you're a good boy. The worry is that you're only about three years old, and by the size of those arms, you are the ranking alpha male grey kangaroo in these parts, aren't you? And you're only three, and you barely know your own territory, let alone how to lead the clan. Tribes of children led by adolescents. That's where the kangaroos are at at the moment. Aren't you, mate? It's all right. Take it easy. Very twitchy. Oh, a bit twitchy. Yesterday there was a younger male also a bread eater, came here for a visit with Sissy, so they appear to be getting around as a couple. The Princess of the Black Spot and her two joeys were here this morning. We've had three swamp wallabies here and this fella showed up on his own. A variable feast is the Warbles on a lot marsupial restaurant. If ever you get the opportunity to become the pet tame human for a tribe or a family or a clan of marsupials, take up that opportunity. Be nice to them. Show the hoppities and the critters that not all humans are randomly murderous assholes. It can't hurt, looking at the mess the world's in, and it probably might help just a little bit. If there's a few other life forms who know that we are prepared to share. If you ever embark on such a project, just remember the, the golden rule is don't ever try to touch them. Don't ever reach out to pet them because they see reaching out with your hands as a challenge to a fight. 
as they fight by grabbing and holding and kicking and biting. So you reach out to touch them, to pat them, scratch them there behind their ears or something, they don't think you're being friendly. They think it's an invitation to fight. And if you want to get to the other side of them, don't walk directly at them. Put in a dog leg. Walk at 45 degrees away from where they are so they can see that you're not trying to encroach on their territory or threaten them. Because as calm and quiet and placid and peaceful as they are at rest, see how easy it is for them to twitch. Sudden noise, sudden movement, particularly with your long muscles. If you cough, using your intercostal muscles, the muscles that move your ribs and your diaphragm, that won't spook a kangaroo. If you try to slap a mosquito, using the long muscles that move your arms and your legs, they will be jumping on your front lawn before your hand hits your arm and squashes the, mos the mosquito. It's as if they can somehow pick up the neuromuscular synapse. There you go, just talking about it gets him twitchy. Yeah. They may not be telepathic, but by geez, they act as if they are. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.